What is going on everybody? We got another Dokkan video coming at you. We got burst mode here in Dokkan. I'm still working on getting uh, Bulma to link level 10. I've only got two links left there at level 9. I could use a key, but I'm so close that I might as well just, you know, finish it out. I don't think it's going to take too long. But uh, in the meantime, we've got burst mode. Uh, I should have a Bulma video out later today, I hope. We'll see. Um, if I don't get it by, I don't know, uh, a few hours from now, I will probably just use keys, upload a short, and then I'll go ahead and film the showcases and get red zone showcases for Bulma coming out soon. But anyway, we got burst mode up here. Uh, I am using the Worthy Rivals team for my uh, 6,000 um, point high score type run. Uh, whenever My first run of these, I like it to make it my... Uh, so I'm looking for like I, I want this to be my high score run basically I, I, I want to get as many missions as I can done and I want it to just be my high score whenever I'm done with it so I decided to do worthy rivals this is a kind of an interesting team I really wish we had MVP 17's easy a out on global and uh, if you notice I showed it in the beginning of the video and I'm sure we're way past this at this point but um, the physical Vegeta, if you reverse him, he's like the Goku and the Tech Frieza where they stack defense permanently in their um, uh, SSR, but they lose the permanent defense stacking whenever you awaken them for some reason. Not sure what the reason behind that is. But if you reverse him, that SSR stacks the entire time, so he can get up to at least like a decent level defensively uh, compared to like some of the other characters on the team. Now, I probably could have like tweaked the setup a little bit, brought different characters, but... Um, this is just what I decided to go with, and it got the run done, it wasn't too, uh, troublesome. I tried out some different team builds this morning, but I was getting to, like, turn 50, and then getting one-shotted by, uh, UI Goku, because I was getting some bad RNG. So I decided to put it down, you know, I went to work, and then, uh, I think I tried another run around lunchtime, I got it again to, like, turn 50. <laughs> and, um, and then just get one-shotted, because there's a few characters on the team that just can't, can't take super attacks from STR UI Goku. Notably the, um... Uh, hero and villain extermination Piccolo and uh, Beerus. Those characters are just old at this point and don't really, you know, stay up too well. Um, so I I did tone down the damage on the character on the bosses a little bit. Whenever I was first trying to do this, I had him cranked up. Like I literally had every setting turned on except for the lock, just because I can't be bothered to deal with locking. Um, and I think I could have gotten it done, but you get to STR UI on like turn 50. And then he just one shots you out of there because he, you know, decide like, I don't know. Sometimes you just get in a situation where he's going to super in slot three. And so then you have to float off, you know, like one of the, the main piccolos because they're the only one on the rotation that can tank the super attack. And then you lose a scouter for a turn and that's usually where things go bad. So I decided to tone down the damage and we just hopped in. We did this. This was like an hour long recording. I have this sped up. I think it's at 275% speed. That we're watching this back on right now. I'm kind of like watching it a little bit in Premiere as I'm making a thumbnail at the same time and recording this. So if I'm a little distracted, that's why. Um, I th th I think this thumbnail is going to be pretty good. You know, like uh, I think I don't know. I, I I really like Physical Piccolo. I think they did good. So I I we, he's going to be like the main star of this, right? We're going to try to make this one a little bit ridiculous. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> um, but anyway. This is the burst mode. This is how I got 6,000 points. I, um, basically, I think every slider is on except for, like, the extra damage ones where you can, like, do the checkboxes. And then I think I put this one on, like, 5% damage. And then everything else is on. You know, it's physical, worthy rivals. Um, all the HP is on. All the damage reduction is on. All the abilities are, like, like he can't be, like, attack lowered, stun, sealed, defense lower. All that stuff is on. Uh, this is obviously no items, no support memory. Um... I think that's it you know just, just whatever sliders it was i know i showed it like lightning fast at the beginning of the video but um i, I again i'm going to show it at the end as well but it, you're not going to be able to see it i don't think but yeah let me just go ahead i think if i go in here it'll have it saved i can read it so yeah this is worthy rivals only 950 only physical type characters 970 400 or less team cost is 700 uh, and then the attack reduction defense reduction uh, damage reduction, all three of those, so that's like a total of, what is that, 180 plus 300 is 480, right? So that's 480 points for that strengthened enemy section, and then 390 for 15% damage reduction, and then yeah, I didn't have any of the attacks on, and then I had the attack raise plus 5% on, uh, that gives you 1150, I had that one on. Uh, just because that's like, that's really what's pushing us into the 6000 range. 
I've got the defense up by 25%, the HP up by 30%. Both of those boxes are checked. Um, HP raised by 40% for 160 points. Uh, reduces damage lower than 100,000 to zero. Uh, I don't have the lock on. I have all allies minus one key just because I found it really annoying doing this, just having low key and it was only a hundred point swing and I had room to spare. So I just, I gave myself more key to work with. I could have turned that one off entirely and been fine. And then yeah, support items are not allowed and uh, no support memories allowed. And that got me 6450 for my points. You only need to get 6,000. So there is a bit of uh, wiggle room in here. You know, uh, you can kind of tune this to whatever your exact specifications. There's really no need to have, like, all of these crazy health buffs and defense buffs and stuff. But, I don't know, I kind of think it's fun to go to, like, turn 50 in these events. Now, it's not fun when you get to turn 50 and get one-shotted. But, uh, you know, I, I do really enjoy, you know, doing these burst modes. Whenever they first announced burst mode, you know, everyone was focused on, like, you know, like, Truth, for instance. You know, he was talking about how... Like, he didn't really like it initially, but as soon as I saw burst mode and they were like, it was like, oh, you can just do an event and you can customize the sliders. I was like, this is it. This is what we've been asking for, finally. And I think um, this uh, Legendary Goku event is going to be a great place to do some showcases. Just real quick. So if there's like any showcases you guys want me to do, I think now's a good time to do it while this uh, Goku burst mode is out. Because I can really crank the sliders, so if there's any units that need to be built up, I can take them into here. You know, um, whenever I was doing one of my failed runs, I had Physical Piccolo stacked up to over 2 million defense. That was pretty crazy. So if you want to see something like that, let me know. Um, that shouldn't be too hard to record. It might be a long video. But um, I, can, I can, like, cut it, you know, and just show you guys what you need to see. Um, I'll probably do a showcase of Bulma in here. Um, along with her Red Zone World Tours. Uh, again, my, my Bulma is 55%. She will be level 10 link. So, you know, this was like if you did one multi on the banner, you pulled her and you were smart and you stopped summoning. This is, you know, kind of the performance you would expect to see. Um, nothing else really to say about burst mode, though. There is one more mission that I need to do. I'll probably just upload it as a short and I need to beat this with target Goku category allies. Or, yeah, target Goku category allies. Um, which, I mean, shouldn't be too hard. Literally, you just... I mean, you don't even need to have any sliders on for that. You can just come in here with Cooler's team and just have the target Goku set and just come in here, wipe this in less than five minutes and then move on with your day and get the last miss mission done. So, uh, nothing too bad there. There are two characters, notably, that are good for this event that Global does not have access to at the moment, and that is the STR Super 17 and the Physical MVP 17, who we should be getting... Uh, like next week, I think. I believe they should be coming out next week on Global. Uh, maybe the week after. But uh, that, that's kind of what we have coming up next. Definitely don't summon for them. You know, like one of their only two uses were, were the... What was it? It was like the Saiyan Day chain or burst mode, wasn't it? Wasn't there one for like Saiyan Day where you had these join forces or something? Uh, that was, like, their only use, and then this one was, like, their next use. I don't know. But that, that's, like, the most use anybody's ever gotten out of them were, like, those two burst modes, and we've already had them on Global now, so it's like, what, what are you even doing? So, anyway, that, but there's them, and then I really wish I could have brought the EZA MVP 17. I'm not a biggest fan of that character. I think he's overrated by some people. Um, I definitely see, like, the value in the defensive support, you know, key and defense support, but... I think people overrate his defense a little bit. You know, it's solid, but it's not... Pe people overrate it. They don't realize, like, what it actually is. They think that you always have his damage reduction up, and I don't think that that's the case. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, to each their own. But he, he really would have helped out with this team. One, just the key support. Having him around to make sure that everybody can super attack. Because, like, the, the two EZA physical piccolos are fine. But uh, pretty much everybody else on the team struggles for key, which is always a problem. Um, I had a few resets in this run. You're going to see me reset the app and cut a couple of times. It's not really me cutting. It's just because I hit pause on OBS. So I guess it's like kind of a cut, but I don't know. I just don't want you guys to see like my lock screen. Not that it matters, but I don't know. Maybe you judge me because I have, uh, what, what app do I have on here? Like I have, uh, Hulu on here. Maybe you guys don't like Hulu. Maybe you are, uh, <laughs> I don't know. You're anti-Hulu. So, you know, I don't want to be judged for that. You know, I did just tell you, but, you know, if you're anti-Hulu, I'm sorry. I just, but, you know, you have no proof because I didn't show you my lock screen. You know, what if I just lied just now? What if I just made up a random app? You don't know. I could be watching Hulu right now. I could be watching Kitchen Nightmares right now. 
Speaking of which, uh, Kitchen Nightmares just got announced that they're going to be getting a reboot, allegedly. I hope it's like the actual Kitchen Nightmares and not the uh, 24 Hours to Hell and Back. I thought that that was a decent show, but uh, it didn't have the same vibe. It felt very rushed. Kitchen Nightmares felt much more, like, methodical, if that makes sense. Like, it, they had, like, a rhythm to it, and then 24 Hours to Hell and Back, like, it just, it felt so fast that you couldn't, you know, really connect with the characters. I say characters, like, people um, that are parts of those shows. But anyway, that's going to be it for the rest of this burst mode. I'm probably just going to play an OST for the rest of the video. Um, I don't know what sounds good. Let me look at my video files. Uh, you guys can't, you know, comment on this, but uh, maybe I'll do, like, in LR Goku and Piccolo. People, I think, like that one. Maybe I'll do... See, this is Worthy Rivals. I could do the Gammas, even though they're not in the video. I try to save that for, like, whenever they're in the videos or... We're doing, like, their stage or something. And do Raditz. We do the Raditz OST. Uh, I don't know. I'll think about it. I'll put an OST in here. You guys can watch the rest of the video. Enjoy. Uh, if you're having trouble with burst mode, let me know down in the comments which combinations you've tried. I've seen some people do it with physical um, target Goku, and they run, like, a full Wicked Bloodline setup. Because you can do... What is it? You can do physical Metal Cooler, which I know a lot of people aren't going to have him on Global because he's only been on one banner 11 months ago, almost, at this point. Um, but if I go ahead and set my box to, uh, physical Wicked Bloodline, what do we have here? Yeah, so you've got that LR Metal Cooler, you've got the Super Strike, uh, King Cold, and Mecha Frieza, uh, two separate units, you've got Easy A, or, uh, Physical Cooler, you've got that Broly Movie Frieza, you've got the Angel Frieza, so there, there's, like, enough characters on here that you could make a team if you needed to. Um, that I think could get it done, you know, depending on how you set the sliders up. But, anyway, let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys in the Bulma showcases, possibly later today, whenever you guys are watching. I'm saying today as in tomorrow for me, but today for you guys. So, uh, enjoy. Enjoy the rest of the video. Hopefully I picked an OST you like. If I didn't, sorry. Um, I tried to fill as much of this with commentary as I could. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. I figure you guys at some point, you probably wanted the OST about 10 minutes ago, but here we are. Here we are, you know, however long into this commentary and, you know, you're stuck with me. You're locked in here with me. No, you're, you're gonna, I think you're going to get the LR Goku and Piccolo OST. So, uh, the, the end one, the end one. So thank you guys for watching again. Um, if you're new around here, welcome. <laughs> uh, that's all I got to say. Bye. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You know, Elvis. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a very good Elvis. I'm not even like, I'm not even trying to do his voice. I'm just doing the, the thank you. And then I said it multiple times. And I was like, yeah, that's an Elvis thing. And then, look at, look at, look at, you know, you gotta, uh, but, ah, <laughs> I forgot how to end videos. Bye. <laughs> thank you guys. Bye. 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 I'm waving. I'm waving you about why somebody get the cane. Somebody pull me off stage. <laughs> Alright, seriously though, thanks you guys for watching, catch you guys next time.